hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a over 2 is equals to cube root of a and we solve this problem for the values of a so first we find all the roots of this equation at the last we will verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root so please watch this video at the end uh, also i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in, in the very first step we are going to do is first we need uh, to remove this cube root in order to remove this cube root sign we need to take a cube on both of the sides so when we will take cube on both of the sides it will be written as in this form cube root of a and its whole cubed and further uh, we know about that this cube and cube root are gone and we know that a cube of a is equals to a cube and cube of 2 is equals to 2 cubed is equals to a so further in the next step we know about that 2 cubed is equals to 8 equals a okay so this is our a and now we move this 8 to the right hand side for this uh, we need to multiply this 8 with this a and it will be written as a cubed is equals to 8 times of a and now here in the next step so we need to move this 8 a into the left hand side and it will be written as a cube minus 8a is equals to 0. And now you see here uh, both of these terms involve a. So we take common a from here. And when we will take common a from here, we get the remaining values are from here we get a square minus from here we get 8 is equals to 0. And in the next step, we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write a is equals to 0. And the second case is we write a square minus 8 is equals to 0. And uh, this is the our first root of the given equation. In order to find the other roots, we need to solve this case. And from here, we move this minus 8 to the right hand side and it, it will become plus 8. So here, in order to remove this square sign, we need to take square root on both of the sides. And you see here, this 2 and this square root are gone. And we will get here, a is equals to, this is square root of... Uh, 8 and we write this 8 as 4 multiplied by 2 and here we easily get the value of a is equals to this is square root of 4 and 4 uh, square root of 4 becomes 2 times of square root of 2 so also you know that when we apply the square root sign on both of the sides then we will write here the plus minus sign okay so uh, these are the other two roots of the given equation so here we get the three roots uh, the one root is a is equals to 0 and other two roots are here and in the next steps we need to verify these three roots and we will check that which of the root are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root for this first we need to copy down given question statement here it is a over 2 is equals to cube root of a and in the next step we first substitute the value of a is equals to 0 here and after that we move towards our other roots when you put a equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as 0 over 2 equals to cube root of 0 we know that 0 over 2 becomes 0 cube root of 0 is also become 0 this means that the value of a equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so this is the our first root first solution of the given equation and now here further in the next step we need to verify the second value of a so here we choose the positive value it is 2 times square root of 2 here we choose the negative value it is 2 times of minus 2 times of square root of 2 also we know that uh, square root of 8 is equals to 2 times of square root of 2 so please remember uh, this uh, uh, expression 
So here we need to replace these two terms of square root of a is equals to square root of 8. So we put these two values of a into the given equation statement. So that after replacing this our given equation is written as we know that this is equals to square root of 8 as well also this is equals to minus times of square root of 8. So when you put this value into the given question statement it will be written as square root of 8 divided by 2 is equals to uh, square root of 8 and its cube root. And now you see here we write as 8 into the form of 2 times of square root of 2 divided by 2 and from here uh, we write this 8 as 2 cubed and we interchange these two signs and we write cube root inside and square root outside the term. So this 2 and this 2 are gone and we get square root of 2 is equal to this 3 and this cube root are also gone and we get here square root of 2. This shows that left hand side equals to right hand side. It means that the value of a is satisfied our given question statement. And now here uh, we need to verify the second value of a. We uh, substitute this value of a into the given question statement and after substituting this it will be written as uh, in the left hand side we put uh, uh, this value of a it is minus 2 times of square root of 2 divided by 2 is equals to in the right hand side we have cube root of uh, minus 8 square root okay in the right hand side we need this value in the left hand side we, because these two are equal so we uh, use the values accordingly okay these two and these two are gone and we get here minus times of square root of 2 and here we uh, again uh, interchange the signs and it will be written as uh, square root of minus times of uh, cube root of 8 and we also we write this 8 as 2 cubed so these two and uh, these two are gone so here uh, we rewrite this expression as first we break uh, this value as in this form so we write here cube root of minus 1 into cube root of 8 so here we know that cube root of minus 1 is equals to minus 1 and we cube root of 8 is equals to uh, cube root of 8 becomes here square root of 2. Okay, so here we have uh, cube root of square root of 8. Okay, so we write this in this form and you see here this will becomes minus 2 square root into minus 2 square root. So both of the sides are equal. This means that the second value of a is also satisfied our given question statement and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.